Hello everyone, welcome to Javelin Technologies video on parametric features in SOLIDWORKS Industrial Design. One of the unique strengths of SOLIDWORKS Industrial Designer is the ability to seamlessly mix freeform modeling with parametric features. Many of the features require a base sketch to be created. It is worth noting that this base sketch can be started using concept sketches as long as they are converted to contours prior to creating the feature. Each feature has tremendous depth and unique strengths as well that are worth exploring as you're trying out the software for the first time. The extrude command, as an example, can be used to extrude a surface, thicken surface, or form a closed profile solid. You can also extrude a 3D sketch or bypass the sketch altogether and extrude a face. The same feature is also used for removing material, just simply select the scissor icon. This is a great example of how SOLIDWORKS Industrial Designer is delivering a simple user experience but with tremendous depth of capabilities. The key benefit of using features is the ability to go back and edit them. To edit the features or underlying sketch, follow the breadcrumb trail that appears in the bottom left of the graphics area. This makes it easy to access exactly what you want without the need for your feature tree to be available. A couple other very commonly used features for Industrial Design are Combine and Fill It. These two features can be used to easily combine the building blocks of your design and add a C2 curvature continuous finish between them. I encourage you to explore the depth of possibilities of what the feature toolbar offers and enjoy the seamless integration between freeform direct modeling and parametric feature based modeling in one environment. If you found this video useful, don't forget to share it and give us a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already, please subscribe to be notified when we upload more useful videos to this channel. Thank you.